Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry over at Wealth Dynamics coming to you with a quick daily money clip to answer the question, can money buy happiness? All right, so we're back again with another daily money clip. I'm Jerry Fetta, CEO and founder of Wealth Dynamics, and I want to talk to you today about whether or not money can buy happiness. This is a question that um, I don't get asked a lot because I think people assume they know my answer, but I see it a lot, and I see it more through actions than through actual words, right? People de- de- kind of minimizing the importance of money, acting like it doesn't matter, you know, saying things like money can't buy happiness, money can't buy everything in order to make it a smaller subject. And then it makes it easier to lose with money, okay? Now, right out of the bat, that might sound kind of harsh. But here's the reality, guys. Happiness can't be bought. Okay, happiness is not a commodity. It's not a product. It's not a service. I can't buy happiness, okay? Whether it's with money or whether it's with, you know, anything, happiness is not something I can buy. And so when I think about money, I think about things I can purchase. I can't purchase happiness. I can't purchase love. I can't purchase companionship. I can't purchase friendship or so many other things. So the question comes down to, can happiness be bought? I don't think that it can, okay? Now, here's the reality. Money is something that is a, a resource that we can create other things with. So happiness can be created, right? So I can do things that make me happy. I can do things that make other people happy, Happy, and it's created by my actions, by my thoughts, by my emotions, by my efforts. And, and so money is a resource that helps me create more, okay? I can take money and I can grow myself, which then can produce happiness in my life because I, can, I become a happy person. Just like I can take money and I can invest in things like drugs. I can invest in things like addictions. I can invest in things that don't make me happy, that make me, you know, upset or angry or antagonistic or, or, you know, repressing old emotions that I haven't handled. And I can also use it to lash out at other people, right? Has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with me as a person and why I'm doing those things and why I'm using a, a basically a, a resource that has no emotion, it has no morals, like it's a emotional, it's amoral, and I'm using that resource to create unhappiness. Okay, that's not money, that's me, right? Similarly, if I'm using that a, that a emotional resource or that a moral resource to create happiness, that's not about money. Okay, that's all about me. So money can't buy happiness because nothing can buy happiness, but money can help us create, and we can create things that do produce happiness in our lives. And I've never actually tried to buy happiness. I, this whole video could be bullshit. You might be able to go down to Walgreens and be like, hey, I would like to buy a pound of happiness. They might hand it to you right over the counter. I don't know. I've never tried it. You have? Great. But here's the thing, guys. And I'm going to wrap up on this note. I don't think anyone's ever tried it. I, I think that this is a phrase that we've come up with in order to minimize money, in order to make sense of why we're not winning with it. Because if money can't buy happiness or money isn't everything, then it's easier for me to be paycheck to paycheck. It's easier for me to explain why I don't have money saved up. It's easier to explain why I'm not wealthy. It's easier to explain why I need government handouts because money is the thing that, that, that makes me have that, that problem. If I don't have enough money, then I need all of those things, right? So if I have to look at my life and confront, why am I in government subsidies, right? Or why am, I, why am I paycheck to paycheck? Why do I have no money in the bank? Why is it every time I get paid an emergency happens and I feel broke? Why is it that I'm one missed paycheck away from filing bankruptcy? If I have to look at that and confront it, some of us just can't confront that deal. And so we have to come up with money's not everything, money can't buy happiness, and we have to, to minimize its importance in order to make sense of why we aren't winning with it rather than studying it, becoming financially literate, winning with it because it's easy to win with it. I didn't grow up with money. I didn't grow up with, with wealth. I didn't get inheritances. I didn't get loans from rich people in my family. I was poor. And so I learned about money, I changed my behaviors, I changed my mindsets, and that's what's led me to where I'm at today. Guys, that's all I have for you right now. If this is something that you would like to talk more about, post in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. Make sure that you also like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint of Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Okay, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call. And we're able to help out and answer questions. 
that's how we can help you. Thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe, make sure you turn notifications on, and I will talk to you guys on the next video.